with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, check out this incredible time-lapse video here of a volcano in Chile erupting yesterday afternoon. Just an incredible sight here. As you can see, this plume of steam and ash being forced up into the atmosphere. And occasionally, if you look closely here, you'll even see some lightning strikes as all of this heat and ash kind of interacts with the atmosphere as it climbs higher and higher. Again, almost looks like an atomic-type mushroom cloud, if you will. But yeah, sometimes these volcanoes can even create their own weather, if you will. So far, just steam and ash with that volcano, but hey, residents in Chile and Argentina are certainly keeping an eye on that monster there. Around here, it is unseasonably cool temperatures. Look at this. We got 30s across the Great Lakes. Look at Cleveland today, 37 degrees, where they've actually had snow this afternoon across parts of northeastern Ohio. So an unseasonably cool day will undoubtedly lead to an unseasonably cold night. For most of us, a freeze warning is in effect for the entire viewing area overnight tonight. So that's basically saying to those of you at home, if you have a small garden or you have any plants that are sensitive to freezing or cold temperatures or even frost, you'll want to cover them up maybe with a plastic bag or a blanket overnight tonight so that they aren't damaged from the cold overnight across the area. Here's a look at your evening forecast. We've got spectacular sun right now. However, as soon as the sun goes down, after about 8 o'clock, temperatures will fall very quickly. 56 at 7 o'clock, it starts turning chilly by 9, and by 11, it's cold out there with temperatures down into the low 40s. So it looks like we get to enjoy another nice night tonight, a nice day on Friday, but then rain is in here on Saturday. It's 56 degrees right now at the airport. Look how dry the air is at 26% relative humidity. That's kind of like being in the desert, if you will. You know where the sun warms you up during the daytime hours, but then once it gets dark, it turns kind of chilly at night. High pressure, that's what will provide us with a dry Friday. However, here comes the developing storm center for the weekend that promises rain on Saturday. Clouds will initially increase overnight Friday, and then will come the rain Saturday. So here's a look at Futurecast. After a chilly start tomorrow morning, expect another day with plenty of sunshine. High cloud cover will gradually begin to filter in throughout the day. Cloud cover tomorrow night will increase, but it should remain dry, and it will also help it prevent from getting as chilly tomorrow night. Lows will only be in the mid 40s versus the 20s and 30s like tonight. Looks like by the time you wake up though Saturday morning, rain is spreading across the area, and expect showers and thunderstorms. Looks like a good soaking on Saturday that will likely continue into Saturday night before wrapping up maybe early Sunday and then we'll see some improvements on Sunday. It'll start gloomy, but by Sunday afternoon we should see a fair amount of sunshine across the area. So it's kind of a split for the weekend there. 30 for a low tonight, a freeze warning in effect. Expect more frost again across the area. Areas away from the city will likely drop into the mid and upper 20s tonight. 60 for a high tomorrow, mostly sunny and nice. Here's a look at your day planner. You know, this time of the year, we should actually be closer to 70 now. 36 at 8 a.m., 55 by lunchtime, 58 in the middle of the afternoon, 60 for that evening ride home. There's your low of 47 tomorrow night. Again, Friday looks nice. Friday night looks fine. No problems if you're making any plans. Saturday, though, looks, does look wet before it dries out for us on Sunday. And then we've got a nice stretch of weather heading into next week. All right, Kevin, thank you. A special birthday that has sort of changed the